Hey everyone, today I'll show you how to uninstall and reinstall the Xbox Game Bar. While it's a handy tool, it can impact gaming performance by using background resources, causing lower frame rates and even stuttering in demanding games. Even when inactive, it consumes CPU and memory, slightly slowing down your system. If you're aiming for peak performance, this is something to consider. Let's get started. First, I'll show you how to uninstall the Xbox Game Bar. The easiest way is to use Revo Uninstaller. There's a free version available, and it will completely remove the Xbox Game Bar from your device. On the Revo Uninstaller website, head to the Download section and select Free Download. Once the download is complete, run the revosetup.exe file to start the installation. Don't forget to unselect Enable Revo Uninstaller Help during setup, as leaving it selected will make Revo Uninstaller run at startup. After the installation is complete, open Revo Uninstaller and go to the Windows Apps section, Select the Xbox Game Bar, click Continue, and wait for the process to finish. Then click Scan, select all the items found, and delete them. Once you've done this, the Xbox Game Bar will be completely removed from your device. However, after uninstalling the Xbox Game Bar, you may receive an alert message from Microsoft when you open a game or restart your device, prompting you to reinstall the Game Bar. To stop this prompt from appearing without reinstalling the game bar, you need to access the registry editor. Copy and paste the registry path I'll provide in the description, Findem's Game Bar, and delete it. To reinstall the Xbox Game Bar, you'll need a direct link to access it in the Microsoft Store, as searching for Game Bar directly won't yield results. I'll put the link in the description. Once you have it, simply install the game bar, and it will be back on your device. Now, let's get into game testing. Today, I'm using Days Gone, set at 800p with integer scaling enabled, AMD Radeon image sharpening at 100%, and AMD fluid motion frames set to high and quality. Since uninstalling the Xbox Game Bar, I've noticed better results with AFMF2 frame generation, smoother gameplay, no choppiness, and minimal stuttering. If you're using AFMF2 and experiencing frame pacing issues, like the game showing 120 FPS but feeling more like 30 or 40 FPS, I recommend uninstalling the Xbox Game Bar. Even if you're not actively using it, it can run in the background during gameplay and interfere with frame generation, causing these issues. In conclusion, uninstalling the Xbox Game Bar can significantly enhance your gaming performance, especially if you're experiencing frame pacing issues with AFMF2. By freeing up system resources, you can achieve smoother gameplay and a more responsive experience. If you want to maximize your gaming setup, consider removing the game bar and keeping your system optimized. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching.